view on top of Roan Mountain is really amazing. Roan Mountain is being called the jewel of uh, the Southern Appalachians. It truly really is a sacred place to many people. Reaching a height of more than 6,000 feet along the Tennessee-North Carolina border, the mountain is home to a wide range of plant and animal life. We have many, many rare species here that are now not found anywhere else. And of course, the expanse of balls that stretch for miles up on the Rhone and uh, uh, rhododendron gardens that are biggest in the world. Uh, it draws people from all over. It's also home to a hidden gem, the Doe River. Flowing from the northern slopes of Roan Mountain down to the Watauga River, the Doe is one of the prettiest trout streams you'll ever fish. We should have cast in here, I guess. Today, I'm joined by Roan Mountain State Park Manager, Jacob Young, and the president of the Friends Group, Gary Berger. Gary's been fishing the Doe River on Roan Mountain since he was too young to remember. He loves the clean, cold water and the forest surrounding it. I know every hole, I guess, in this river. There are holes here that are six feet deep and there are holes that are three inches deep and I think they're fishing about all of them. Well, maybe we'll get a brown out of here in a minute. While he hasn't been fishing here as long as Gary, it didn't take long for Jacob to fall in love with this river. There's so many different opportunities here if you're into any kind of trout fishing. And uh, the areas that you have to go to find them are some of the prettiest areas in Tennessee. It's easy to see why as he lands a beautiful rainbow. There's fish in the river all year long. Uh, these are more native fish, they're a little bit harder to catch. But I've, I've went through here with a foot of snow on the ground and, and almost caught my limit in a day. One day we watched a brown that was probably five or six pounds laying right at the edge of that rock. We never could catch him. <laughs> That's how they get to be five or six pounds. Yeah. Jacob likes to spin fish the dough while Gary prefers fly fishing, even where the vegetation is closing in, making it hard to cast. Now don't let the size of this little river fool you. I've learned through the years that you can catch really big fish in small waters like this. Every year they catch fish between five and eight pounds out of this river right here. Ain't no reason why we can get one right here. I think the secret to fishing these little streams is to know where the fish are. You come out with people that've never been before and they're fishing every bit of the water. Yep. Not only does Gary know where to go, but how to fish each hole when he gets there. I dropped it in the current by the rock there and let, did, let the current take it right down where I think probably natural food would be floating. The result is a nice rainbow caught on a size 16 Adams dry fly. Ooh, slippery little devil. It, whoa, whoa, did you see that? No. That's a good fish. Look, there comes another one. That is a good fish. Of course. Some casts are more successful than others, especially when it comes to outwitting a fish that can seem smarter than you. This way spooked him. That's the biggest challenge when trout fishing. The fact that the fish probably see you before you see them if you're not careful. That and trying not to lose your flies. I broke off my dropper, so that's a, meant to be. You learn quickly the roll cast and the sidearm cast, and you learn to turn your head around when you back cast to make sure your fly is not going into a tree uh, on your back cast. But don't let all the tree limbs and tight casting keep you from giving this river a try. Oh, there we go. All right. I know good fishing when I see it, and I'm telling you, Roan Mountain is a gorgeous place to hunt for trout. Rainbow again. See what I mean? I'm Chris Nishin on the wild side.